Hey, it's Tim Terry again, hanging out at the Fresno Edge, the Terrio Fresno Edge. Steve Saboni back with me again. Um, last time we talked a little bit about the difference between strength coaches and personal trainers. And I think there's another big thing out in the market right now, and that's all these, you know, on every, all these infomercials, you can go buy these boxed workouts and, and you see the guys on there, right? And they go from being overweight and all of a sudden, <laughs> 10 weeks later, you're sucked up. You got the six pack working. Yeah. And you just, that's all, that's how easy it is, right? You just get one of those programs and get chiseled. That's right, that's right. You know, the, a lot of those programs, they do have really good content. And we, right. We've talked about this before that, you know, you look at some of the components of them as far as their their strength components, their bodybuilding components, and, and even some of their, their diet stuff is really good. But they're not going to work for everybody. The main reason why we get, again, we brought this up the last time is that. Um, people just jump in and, and not everybody's at the same starting smart. And so, unfortunately, there's not an evaluation tool mm -hmm. that tells you where to start and how much to do and that kind of stuff rather than the, the program is there and there's, again, really good content, but how much is too much, how much is enough, um, and so on. How much, for example, with the diet, there's some great stuff with their diet plans too, right. but again, how much is too much, how much is enough, and so on. They're, they're not really checking their uh, base, you know, basal metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not really specific for any person. It's a great idea, right. and so on. And um, again, some of the some of the content, fantastic. But right. for the regular, everyday person, it, they're not gonna get the results specific to them unless they're, they go through an evaluation. And that evaluation should be in many different areas. Right evaluation of the cardiovascular system, their, their biomechanics, everybody has different mechanics. Right. You know, you, you maybe have t tight shoulders and yeah, maybe really tight shoulders. <laughs> right, where I have <laughs> loose shoulders and right. so I probably need to do a little bit more stability and, and um, you know, uh, strengthening in my shoulders as compared to your shoulders, probably very stable, but their ears are not flexible, so maybe right. more flexibility in yours. So on, everybody's built a little bit different and Unfortunately, some of those box programs are very gen generic for the for the whole. Right. Yeah, they're mass market yeah. produced, right? No, no doubt about it. And I agree with you. I think the, one of the best things about them and all this muscle confusion, right? At first, it was, you know, the gyms, and then it became about, well, let's train people with functional exercises, and that was the rage. And then it became this new thing you hear all the time with these programs as well. It's all about muscle confusion. And I agree with that. I, th I, I think no it is about muscle feature, right? We do it all the time. I change it up all the time with, you know, you, you can change it up either with the type of exercise you do. If you do right. something completely different, you can ch change it up with your volume, of, of, you know, or your tempo, how fast you're doing something, or slow. Um, you can change it with number of repetitions, cut, uh, increase your range of motion with repetition, all kinds of different yeah, varieties. Increase, decrease. Confuse me. Yeah, that's an important point is it doesn't always have to be more weight. No, right. definitely no. And that, you know, when when we grew up, say, back in the 80s, right. it was definitely more weight. That's all it was. That's all it was. It didn't matter. And unfortunately, <laughs> still some of you football coaches out there, yeah, they still do the same <laughs> thing, right? We'll That's get you right. eventually. So changing the tempo, changing the amount of reps, changing right. the, rather than going reps, go time, go um, that kind of stuff. Right. You know. um, yesterday, for example, I had, um, I had my NFL football group. Um, I changed up on it yesterday for their middle block or middle group of exercises, they had to do repetitions that were um, 20 seconds per rep. They did sets of three. But oh, there were a lot of, that was a long, wow, slow, eccentric yeah. phase. And see, they're, they're in their off season right now. We're going through like a hypertrophy phase right, right now. So it was fun for them. They, they Something got new? Done with that. They were like, got all pumped up. up. Yeah. yeah. They you like know, the puff. And you bring up a good point. Um, there, when in the 80s and, and still out there, there's these programs, it's lift heavy, you know, bench, clean, and squat, and just add weight, add weight, add weight. And that, that's good for building max strength, but the way that current strength coaches look at things is that's just one phase. You mentioned the phase of hypertrophy or muscle growth. Mm -hmm. That's one phase you can put in, right? But oh, there's yeah. multiple other phases? You're definitely. We, I break it up typically into five or six different phases during yeah. the course of the year for every sport. A sport like football, of course, we want to be peaked at the beginning of the, of the season, but, you know, with their physical capabilities and so on. And then they, they peak within their sport, too. Right. You know, with, as far as their quality of practice and as far as, you know, what they're, what they're getting accomplished on the football field. Right. So, so you want to time, right? People talk about their peak performance, but 
there's peaking your physical, mm -hmm. and then there's peaking your skill. Correct. Right? Correct. And the peaking the physical allows you the base and the foundation. Correct. To, to peak, the, peak skill. the skill. And that, that is very important. Hopefully, you know, as a football team, they want to peak with their skills. Right. Playoff time. Right. Hopefully. Yeah. And I still so, can't give the Packers too much credit, though. You know, I'm still a Bears fan, but <laughs> That's right, they peaked at the right time. And, anyways, uh, but yeah, during the course of the year, you know, we go from 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 my muscle growth phase. That during that phase, um, I want to, to really uh, concentrate on just, uh, putting tension on a muscle for longer periods of time okay. to create muscle growth, and, and then to be able to move into a, a max strength phase after that. Right. And and then from there. Um, we will try to convert more into a power type phase where right. we work on rate of muscle contraction and so on. So the first two phases try to gain more and more um, your ability to recruit muscle fibers and then get into recruiting them faster. Right. You keep going on that. So if you go back to those box programs, when you first start a program, if you haven't been doing anything, you first have to get the initial base of just stability, right? And oh, control yeah. your body. Yeah. Then you can move into a phase of if you need it for a sport like football, you need muscle mass, so you can do a, a hypertrophy phase or a muscle mass phase. Mm -hmm. And then every sport, even for the women, right, we got to have the max strength phase. We've got to build strength. It's important. you got it. Yeah, absolutely. And then once you get that strength, you can convert it to power by switching up a phase again, right? Switching up the phase again, working on the, the rate in which force is, is okay. applied or created. And then um, and then with that, for most sports, especially power sports, there's a, there's a little bit of power endurance, how often can we do that? Can we do it again and again? Or can we replicate the ability to produce power again? So being able to convert that into power and then be able to do it over and over, over, and over again is a, is a big component. Typically, that's what I kind of move into right before the season starts. Yeah, and then get them ready. And then the training goes into just a maintenance phase, right? And then the skill phase. Correct. Got to build from Correct. Once they go into in season, the training would be more of a, of a maintenance phase Injury prevention, big time, really. Oh, absolutely. And then you know, keep, keeping their uh, their um, the metabolic needs intact with their with their training, um, in any, any of the, the specific muscular needs and so on. But then, of course, the big emphasis being like peaking of skill. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's the Kim and I talked about that the other day, and we posted it about the importance of matching your nutrition plan with your training plan. But the, I think the important thing to get out today is, if you're not training in phases, if you're trying to train with the same program through the whole year, you're not going to reach that peak, right? I think you'd be limiting your potential, no doubt about it. You right. that, that's, it's been proven time and time again, the periodization works. Absolutely. And, you know, there's different things that get in the way of it too, like for example, if somebody gets sick or they and so on. But the general philosophy of periodization, there's no question. Yeah, I absolutely agree too. And actually that's where, a little secret, that's where the Terrio Triangle came from. We brought it from Tudor Bompa stuff That's back right. in the day, right? That's right. Strength, speed, and endurance, and sport comes down to some, some combination of those three things. That's right. All right. So get out there, get with somebody smart like Steve to put your program together. He's up here at the Fresno Edge. Um, I know you got a lot of friends, fans on Facebook. We're gonna be excited to actually see you talking about this. <laughs> so uh, come by, say hi to Steve. We're at uh, First and Barstow up here. We've got this new facility you can kind of get a little picture of but this facility is a pretty nice place too huh oh man awesome camp there's nothing like this around that's for sure yeah i tell you in the whole i don't think there's another one of these in the san joaquin valley we got the edge down in bakersfield not knocking you eric right but i know you want this football field and everything but <laughs> everything in time <laughs> that's right we'll talk to you next time